Hi, this is Irene. Today, I'm going to explain how to create your own website. So first, why would you need your personal website? Because you will create website as a part of our course projects. And if you're a programmer and planning to apply for an internship or job position at companies like Google and Facebook, or if you're thinking of going to grad schools like Stanford and MIT, they would ask you to provide a link to your website or portfolios. It would not be the prerequisite, but it would be better to have one. Then how to create one? There are many web development tools out there where each of them has its own pros and cons. And I recommend using GitHub pages simply because they are free and have less limitations in customizing the templates compared to other website builders. So from now on, I'll walk you through how to publish one website using GitHub. First, create GitHub account if you don't have one and install Git following the link provided below. Or you can install GitHub desktop instead if you're more familiar with using graphical user interface. And for installation, I just chose default setting for any installing options. Next, sign in and create new repository. Click the plus button on the upper right corner, then click new repository. Name your new repository as your username.github.io and click the button below. Now you've created a repository, you need a content for your website. There are many free templates online. You can follow one of the links here and download one that you most like. For example, I downloaded this template for my website. Then extract the downloaded file at the folder you want to host your website. Open the git bash you just installed and go to your local directory. Then git init and git remote add origin https github.com slash your username slash the repository name. Then git add all to add the contents to push to your repository. And you can check what changes you have made by using git status. And then write your commit message and git push remote name branch name. For here, I wrote git push origin master. Now you go to your git repository and you'd see that all the contents have been added. Then go to the settings tab and under github pages you can see the link to your website. Then follow the link to see your first website. If you don't see anything, you might need to wait a little bit and try the link again. Also check if the source for the link is set to the correct branch. Now you would want to make changes to the default templates. Then you can just edit codes. Open your favorite code editor. I personally use Atom and make some changes to HTML, CSS, and JS codes. Index.html is the main page of your website. When writing codes, you can check if everything is going well in your local by simply clicking the HTML files before you actually publish the website. When you want to reflect the changes in your actual website, you just push the changes to the repository, like we have done before, git add all, git commit, and git push. Then refresh your website to see the changes. It might take 4 to 8 minutes. Finally, what if you want to create more than one website? Then you just repeat the previous tabs, but you name the repository differently. For example, blog. And the link for the website will be your username.github.io slash the repository name. In fact, in building your website, your idea about how to design the website would be the most important part. 
This is where your creativity comes in. For any design idea, you can reference the personal website of mine or Chim Meng Huang's or other engineers who are in the same field with you. So this is the end of the tutorial and if you have any questions, you may leave the comments below or use Slack or mail to reach out. Thank you.